Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive on a pretty nice 1957 210. This thing, um, I decoded the motor. It was an 80 through 85 305. It does have the AC set up. We'll be trying it out, checking out anything that I can find on this. You can see the upgraded brakes on this one, along with power steering and some upgraded pulleys. They did a aluminum radiator, electric fan, just for the extra touch and an Optima battery there. Does have the Holley carb. Looks like disc brakes on the front, probably drum on the rear. Yep. Polished wheels. So this is the first time I've driven this car. I'll walk around it with you, give you a good, honest view. I'll do the same if you come up here by a car. Dual exhaust out the back. And what's cool on this one, you get the gas right here. How cool. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We have financing, we have shipping. I can get this all the way to the border. After that, you figure it out. That's the most common question that I get about shipping. There's a lot of common questions. So go to maplemotors.com. Look at the uh, section where we actually answer all those for you. And on Mondays, we update with new inventory. That's every Monday at 11. So go there at 11 to be first to pick up some of the new rides. Other than that, I think we're good to go. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And before we take off, we'll look around the interior. You can definitely tell the door panel has been redone. Uh, pretty nice steering wheel here. The dash has got some crack cracks going on right here where they've painted it. You can see the aftermarket gauges up there on top. Looks pretty good. A little blemish here. Carpet's been replaced interior is like a pearl white which is beautiful all the way around package tray looks good headliner is good nice and tight aftermarket gauges under the dash there oil and volts all right let's go ahead and start her up starts up nice and quiet Gas gauge is about a quarter tank. You got water temperature up here on the dash. Uh, let's see if the AC works on it. Blowing pretty hard already. I didn't feel it pull down. Let's see if that's a switch. Compressor. That kicks compressor on there. And it's starting to get colder. Good deal. Radio. Try it out. Working. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? It is a Grant steering wheel. Odds are uh, against it on that one. A lot of times those Grants, they never hook up. Wipers, work. You play that game though, I can stop them anywhere I want. I think. How do you get them to go back to the bottom? I don't know. May have to push them all the way back. So, we looked over pretty much everything but the horn. Be thinking about it while I try to open the glove box up look at it figured it out very little room in there enough room just to put your uh, registration we don't need the ac it feels great out here so we're going to cut everything off kind of get a good feel on the motor what about that horn y'all ready what i would have bet that the, that it did work because um i seen the horn under the hood i wonder got tilt column kind of wondering if there's another button I don't see one. What's this button? <laughs> it is a horn. It works one time too. What? All right, guys. Something happened. Horn honked one time. You call it the way it is. I heard it. It ain't working now. Let's hit the road. All right, so we're getting ready to take off. I got you on the wide lens. That way you can see more of the car here. Um, I'm gonna push down these windshield wipers. Cause they don't tend to stop all the way down at the bottom. This is the first car this week we've had seat belts. Take advantage of that. We should be good on gas. Let's hit the road and uh, see how she runs and drives. I'm sad about that horn, I liked it. All right. 
they've changed the indicator out on the top of the steering column there. Brakes are touchy. That's a good thing. We know we got good brakes. Before we leave, turn signals are popping up on the dash. I like all this white interior. Let's hit the road. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. She's going straight as an arrow right now. As soon as I turn, it turns. Nice, tight, nice, tight steering here. Get tongue twisted. Kick down is not hooked up. It is hooked up, actually. It's just not in uh, proper working range there. Needs to be adjusted out. I'm pushing on the gas pedal, pedal pretty hard there and it's not shifting down into the passing gear. The brakes, very touchy. They're working good. Engine temperature's coming up. Right now it's at 150 and our oil pressure is at 30. Tell you what, she feels smooth going down the road. There's a cigarette lighter right there. You plug your phone in. Clock is working. Cool. So I notice there's a little bit of slack in the gas pedal. That may have something to, to do with the kick down. You see, I'm I'm pushing a good that amount before it starts to go. Check our vent windows. They're working good. As far as running and driving, this thing's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna pull in this parking lot here and get some outside shots. We're gonna lay the camera down, drive over, I'm gonna light the undercarriage up and look below in the description. So I put some new stuff down there. I got the Osmos camera that I use. Uh, right now we're using the GoPro Max. I've got some GoPro 8s coming in. I'm gonna compare and uh, I'm using a light to light up the undercarriage and I put it on there. Let's go ahead, get set up and make some uh, outside videos here I'll see you here in just a moment guys engine temperature on this one still at 150 and oil pressure still at 30 
Y'all look pretty good. Say the wide lens is working out on this one. Now where in the world? Oh, I threw it over. Oh, I was so mad. I did the ghost ride and this part was hanging out the door. I was like, oh, great. There's a guy tripping out because I, I'll, what I do is I put it in neutral like that. Well, like that and just let her roll over there and it goes downhill and comes back uphill and it stops for me. So that's why I do those ghost rides. And the cops like to hide out in this spot that I do all the videos where I hide to make them. He pulled in and looked right at me while I was flying around the parking lot. I give him a wave. It seems pretty nice. I haven't actually talked to that guy. But, but we're going to head back to the lot now. What we're going to do is uh, walk around this car, point out chips, scratches, and flaws. That's going to be towards the end of the video. going on from somewhere back here I haven't pinpointed it exactly yet oh there's a little plate on the bottom of the steering column that's what it's coming from they quit now and we've made it back to the car lot uh, I guess I'm gonna have to pull next door and do this video which is completely fine there's a trailer over here though let's see See what we got going on. All right, I'll figure it out here in just a moment and then we're going to uh, go ahead and do this walk around video. Point out chips, scratches and flaws. Be sure to hit subscribe, check below in the description for all the stuff I use, and uh, I'll see you in just a moment. Later, guys. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna walk around this ride, point out chips, scratches, and flaws. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. And uh, we've been adding new merchandise, so go over there, check out the merchandise at the uh, YouTube store here or on maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around the front, bumper on this one is nice and clean. Does have a little bit of pitting up in the corner there. But overall, she's pretty. It's good. See a little bit of pitting popping around the headlights. A couple spots on the paint there. A little acne. Same thing, a little bit on the paint around the headlights. Coming down this side, there's a chip right here. Coming on down, got a bubble in the corner there and at the bottom of the door. Also in the corner here, there's a chip right here, up and over the fender. And a nice scratch mark there. Coming on back. 
You got some pitting popping up on your rear chrome. Big old fins in the back here. Looking pretty good. Got some pitting popping up on your door handles. A little bit on your trim there. And up over the top. A couple little bubbles popping up there, cracking in the paint. Front window looks pretty good. Trim looks good around the window. Mirror's in good shape. Little spot right here. And a crack right here. Got a light scratch on the back there. Back window's in pretty good shape. Looking over the roof. You got some little bubbles popping up in the back here around that area. Crack right there. Paint's a little weak up around the trim. Some cracking right here and in that jam. Coming around to the back here. Back bumper's in decent shape. A little bit of pitting popping up in the crease there. Down around that bottom area. Some pitting in here. Your jam looks pretty good. Your seal looks good. All the edges of the trunk in decent shape on this one. They've got carpet all in here. I'm not going to rip it up. It's all glued down. Uh, nice spare jack, CD player, or changer. Pretty good look. Coming on down with it. Some bubbles at the bottom here. You got some pity popping up on the chrome emblem in the back. Bubble right here in this area. Cracking going on in the paint in the corner here. A few more bubbles. You got some lines in the trunk right here. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but down in the paint. Coming down this way, lower portion first, back to midsection. Spots on your bumper. Tires are in good shape. Wheels look pretty good, up and over the fender. Nice little scratch right there. Corner's got some chips. Got some bubbles at the bottom here. Couple more chips. Some more bubbles in the corner. Up and over the fender. back mid section chips up in the corner there some acne around on the top of this fender Little spots there down that crack Light scratch right here. A little bit of that acne popping up on the rear fender there. Bubbles right in the crease. Chips here, hitting on the door handle. So got some down in there. A little bit of pitting on your mirror there could be cleaned up. A ding on your trim, some chips down below it.
Looking across the front windshield, it's in pretty good shape. Trim looks decent. A little flat here in this section. I'm back over the roof. Light scratches there. And around the windows. All right, made it all the way around this one. Let's check the interior. They've redone this interior. I love, it's like a pearl white. Door panels in decent shape. Weather stripping looks pretty good. Bottom of the door. And you jam. Got some chips down here in the corner. Looking up at your headliner. Not too bad. Jump off in here. Start her up. Nice and quiet. I figured out what that slack was in the gas pedal. You pull this back and then it starts to so grab the gas. That's where it starts, yeah. But that's why it's got slack right there. The kick down's right here below. It's got a lot of slack too. I mean, you literally. It needs to be adjusted, but. Chrome's falling off all there. Got some chips around the edges of the hood. That's your adjustment. It need to be rubber. Oh, they got a. Let's see what they've done. Coming on down with the hood. Doesn't look too bad. Got a little bubble here. Got a couple dimples in the back. Other than that, We've walked all the way around this ride. We pointed out all the flaws that I can find. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Also, I have financing and shipping for you. So go over there, check it out, hit subscribe, share. I'll keep these videos coming your way. I want to thank you again for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.